Hey, Fab. The thing we're most excited about at Rolly to show is uh, our new application called Blocks Dashboard. And this single application really opens up our newest product, Rolly Blocks, to a much broader professional audience. Um, until recently, Blocks, our uh, modular music making system, that you can see here, uh, it's a, a new type of music creation system uh, that lets you connect together different blocks, each with different musical functions, and kind of build the uh, customized studio that you want. Uh, but until recently, the uh, software engine uh, was limited to, to noise. Um, this is an iOS app that's also a software synthesizer. It comes with uh, over 100 sounds. It's quite powerful in its own right, but it is, after all, just one program. And um, what we've done with uh, Blocks Dashboard is um, create an application that lets you easily integrate uh, with any kind of digital audio workstation or plugin or other uh, music software programs. And this is huge because, for instance, if you're an Ableton Live user or uh, you use Logic or GarageBand or Contact or whatever, you can now um, use blocks to control your favorite music software programs. This is essentially you know, uh, an, an MPE MIDI controller. that's only $180 for a light pad block. It fits in your pocket. Um, and it was already extremely versatile in that you can use it to play beats, you can use it to shape melodies, um, and then you can use touch, five dimensions of touch, to modulate sound, uh, whichever sound you choose. But now there's this additional element of versatility and customization, and that you can um, uh, connect these MIDI controllers to any kind of software program you want. So for instance, this setup here is quite a um, pro setup that shows off dashboard. Uh, <laughs> we have one light pad block that is a drum kit. Uh, uh, this is controlling drums in Ableton. This is a melodic instrument, again controlling um, uh, an instrument within Ableton. I've turned this top right light pad block into a bank of faders with mutes at the top. And this is an XYZ pad. But if I wanted to, for instance, um, uh, turn this one into faders, I can. And I don't know if you can see, but here we have Ableton up. I have my instruments programmed. But you know, I could easily do the same thing in, um, in Logic, for instance, or Contact, or what have you. So yeah, I mean, what you see here is, is, is like totally open-ended customization potential. Um, just think about this as a 15 by 15 LED array uh, that can you know, send and receive any kind of information over MIDI. Um, so I can. Uh, I can basically control anything I want, and I can also physically arrange my uh, setup to do uh, to, to like you know fit different gigs, fit different uh, sizes of table, whatever you want. So that's what we're really excited about. We've even um, uh, to show the <laughs> the the range of um, possibilities be even beyond music. We've programmed a game, Space Invaders. Here, <laughs> here I am. So you could like get a, you could get the Blocks SDK, which we just came out with, and uh, program games, or uh, control audio visual installations, or basically use these for whatever you want, both in music and outside of it. So here you, we we've opened Ableton. You can see on Ableton here I am controlling the drums. the pad. I've turned my bottom left light pad block here into an XY pad, and you can see there on the auto filter how, how I've just turned it into an XYZ pad. So 
that's Ableton, but we could have we've been doing the same thing and uh, Logic or Cubase or um, you know whatever DAR software or program you want. The touch sensitive interface of the <laughs> light pad block is based on um, uh, the technology that we released with the Seaboard Rise almost two years ago. Um, you'll recognize this product, it's done very well. Um, and it's based on the piano keyboard, but you can do much more on a Seaboard Rise than you can on a keyboard. And we've, um, we've been really pleased the Superbooth to see the rise in uh, different settings all around the show. Uh, for instance, at PolyEnd, um, we've just noticed that they're using a Seaboard Rise 25 to control um, uh, an analog modular synthesizer that's MPE compliant. So people are really pushing the boundaries uh, with this MIDI controller, and, um, and we're very pleased to see that.